Hey, Fall From Got Memories here. So I have a stack of VCRs. It is, uh, I've got the shop locked up because I need peace and quiet uh, doing this stuff. Um, so cleaning the heads on um, VCRs and camcorders, etc. This is the basics if you own a video transfer company. And for some reason, the basics... Why isn't this opening up now? Um, for some reason, the, for some reason, this case won't come off, is it? Oh, fuck it, there's more screws. Ah, okay, so, let's, first of all, basics, speaking of, undo the screws. I thought I got them all, but uh, I guess not. There's a couple pesky little ones there, I think that's it, yeah. Alright, so, basics here of having a video transfer business. And you'd think, well, you know, everyone should be doing this. Uh, and oh, where's the power cord gone? Come on, please be the one, yep. Yeah. All right, so let's plug this up and I'm going to be cleaning the, oh, the heads. All right, so you need chamois tips. You can use um, just regular chamois and like cut them, but I use these. Uh, and you need isopropyl. You need a um, thingy that's not gonna eat through the plastic because this is like nitroglycerin. Oop, and it's just gone all over me. So I'm gonna let that kind of drip dry a second. And actually I'm gonna unplug this just so I don't electrocute myself. And here is um, the head right here. Well, the drum, sorry. The heads are these little holes. This is a four head VCR. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, apply the pressure here. And let's do a few little spinner on there. And you can see the dirt. I don't know if that's focusing, but um, anyway, so I'm gonna, I should have put a tape in here to begin with just to show you before and after, but this one here, anything with like these red dots here, I put, um, I use, so put um, post-it notes on them with swear words because it does get annoying. Um, here we go. So uh, let's have a look. All right, there we go. I'm going to have to use the other side. These particular um, things are not cheap. But you can use um, chamois cloth and cut it into pieces. That suffice as well. And then that's that. And I'm going to use another one. You can see the dirt there. Look at that. Um, and then I'm going to use another one. I'm just going to clean the audio head. It's a fresh one. I'm just, this is the audio head here. So I'm just going to kind of give it a little rub. There was nothing wrong with the audio on this one, but it is while you got the lid off, worth giving it a little bath, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. So what you're seeing here is, I'm just going to go again. Um, what you're seeing here is what none of these online box companies do. Um, <laughs> some of them do, but a lot of them don't. So I'm gonna pop a test tape in, power this back up, and here we go. Got it streaming through the screen here. And, all right. Let's do this, it's gonna turn on. And I have probably about another four of these to do, which I do weekly when it's quiet. 
I go through any of the problem decks throughout the week. I am cleaning. And hopefully there's a signal. Uh, no signal. <sighs> Let's see, it could be the tape has ended. It's not picking up any counter reading right there. Hmm. So in this case, what this means is, here we go. Thank goodness. Because if it's still not reading, that means you've got to replace the whole head, the whole drum here, which um, Tim at Arizona Video Electronics does. And he cleans them. He replaces them. Ah, bugger. Yeah, let's see if there's any audio coming through. Yeah, nothing. And I know this tape has footage on it. Oh, here we go. There's audio. So, one or two things. I'm going to give it another clean. Or it could be that the tape, sorry, the uh, the head is knackered. Um, and for those of you that aren't into uh, English slang, knackered means effed. So um, let's have a look here. Give it another whirl. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I can kind of tell by the uh, kind of the gunk in there that this thing might be knackered. Well, there's more coming off here. All right, let's see. Good luck. Uh, there we go. All right, the tape. Where the hell the other oh, is? Okie dokie. Let's give that a second there to dry. It is. Oh, there we go. Bingo, we're getting close. There we go. Nice one. There we go. I am happy with that. And I am gonna do an extra little clean on it um, because I feel like I got all the way down to the base of the head here. So let's see. And also I see people using Q-tips on YouTube here. Um, do not recommend because all the bits of fluff, I mean, you just do not, 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 not do that. Um, there we go. Yep. There we go. Look, nice and dirty. So this is essential. You have to do this all the time. Watching, this is why it's important that if you have tapes going, they all need to need to be on monitors. If that's coming through, hopefully this video is in focus because I'm, oh God, Woo, good times. Um, anyway, so this is essential and I've only got this many more to go plus three more over there. So I'm gonna put the lid back on and there you have it. So let's just do one more test. Let's make it nice and big. That's what she said. All right. There we go. Bingo. All right. Happy with that. All right, guys. All the best. And if you are shopping around for a video transfer company, you must see videos like this with the owner who's wearing a wearable 
thing with his phone. All these companies, Legacy Box, iMemories, God, good luck. Um, I deal with all of these problem tapes and they all have to be monitored. None of these companies are monitoring every anything because they've just got, um, you know, a hundred decks running into a screen that's got bing, 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 all these little tiny things. And if they've got one of their minimum wage staff that's sitting there on their phone, tip tapping away, not paying attention, and really the detail isn't much if there's like 16 to a screen, um, or if they're, you know, on Instagram or TikTok in, just not paying attention, um, and your stuff is going to crap, you get it back and it looks like crap, and now you've got to get in a customer service back and forth with them, and all this stuff is a nightmare, absolute nightmare. If you want to get it done right, you have to go with a small company, one with outstanding reviews and hopefully a YouTube channel where you can see all the work is done and you can tell that the owner or and all the employees are passionate about what they do and they're very thorough. This is the standard right here. If you would like to get a quote, gotmemories.com. Otherwise, all the best to you. Cheers.